Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing an aloe yoga haul. If you remember last year, I actually did an aloe yoga cherry cola haul. Well, this is similar except the new color is now espresso, which I personally think I like a lot more than cherry cola. I do have color comparisons to show you versus cherry cola and also some other browns from Lululemon and Gymshark, just so you can get an idea of what the brown looks like. This might be one of my favorite browns though, so I'm very excited to do this little haul for you. So yeah, we'll get right into it. This is Paisley, if you don't know Paisley. She's kind of uh, all about the browns herself too. But yeah, so we're gonna start with the outfit I'm wearing. All my stats will be down below. I got a small and everything, and I would say Ali Yoga is pretty true to size. So yeah, I guess that's all you need to know. So starting with this top, this is just a really cute tank from them. There's no built-in bra or anything. So I feel like if you're wearing this, you kind of want to go braless because otherwise like your bra straps would show unless you have a sports bra that kind of fits well with this. And then the back is racer back right here. So again, very open back. And yeah, it's just like a lounge shirt. However, if you were working out in it, then you would want to wear like a racer back sports bra underneath. But I think it's just a really chill tank. I actually really like wearing tanks like these around the house rather than bralettes. I just find them like way more comfortable. And like I don't have such a big chest where it's a big deal if I'm like not wearing a bra with it. However, keep in mind it is very short. I mean, if I reach my arms up, I'm not falling out. However, like, you know, right here is where my boob is. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, I'm pairing it with some comfy leggings. So I'll stand on up and show you that. All right, so here I'm just pairing it with some ribbed leggings. And yeah, they're about a 7 8 length. And there is just a thin waistband right here. There is a front seam. And this is what it looks like from the back. And I was actually really surprised by these. Looking at these kind of leggings, I feel like they'd probably be kind of like stiff, not too stretchy, super tight around the waist. However, I was really surprised with how stretchy they are. Like, look how stretchy this is. So it just doesn't dig in at all around my waist. If you watch me, you know I don't usually like top seams or just like things hitting at a bad place in my waist just because when I, if I carry any fat, it's mostly around here and I do get bloated easily. But this I feel really comfortable in and just like, yeah, it's like super stretchy. And even though they're seven eight, there's still a nice length here. Like it's not too short on me. I'm five eight, so that's just where they come to on me here. And then yeah, it's still pretty flattering around the back since they are very stretchy. They're not like constricted at all, like some ribs leggings might be. And yeah, overall, very true to size for the top and the leggings here. Okay, and then to go along with this outfit, I got the high hoodie. So I actually do have this in like a lavender color in a size small. However, for this, I sized up to a medium because I was wearing the size small recently and I realized that even though it is an oversized hoodie, like the sleeves, I felt like I would kind of like want to go like this in them. However, the small was just like a little short on the sleeves to do that. Not too bad by any means, but just enough where I felt like I want to size up since it is meant to be like more of an oversized hoodie anyways. And I'm very happy with my choice. It is definitely a pricey hoodie for what it is. Like it's nothing like revolutionary or special. Like you could probably get something similar off Amazon or something, but obviously I wanted to keep the espresso vibes and I really like it. I mean, it's just a really easy throw on hoodie. So in the end, you know, you would get your money's worth if it's something you are throwing on all the time. And yeah, obviously it's really cute with just like a whole set here. Uh, this is what it looks like zipped up. And so here it is zipped up. It is like, um, it's not a tight waistband, but it isn't like totally loose or it just hangs. So I do kind of like how tight it is because then when you use a bit up, you can kind of like come like this on top of your butt. So you're not like completely covering it. And yeah, it's just like very chill vibes. And I just really like this color, obviously. And then I actually did get one more jacket, so let me show you that while I'm here. Alright, so this is the Gold Rush Puffer. This is so comfortable. Elle actually makes really nice quality jackets. I guess not surprisingly, like their stuff is obviously super nice quality, but this is just so comfortable. It's like the perfect amount of puff. Sometimes in their jackets, I might size down an extra small, like some of their Sherpa collection. But this one I would definitely say true to size. Like this is where it comes to on my arm. So the perfect length there. I think it's the perfect cropped length. Like it's obviously not like super cropped or anything. It just comes right to your waist. And then let's see when you zip it up here. So this is what it's like zipped up. And then if I reach my arms up and then there are pockets right here, uh, but no pockets in the inside and there's no hood or anything. So yeah, I mean, this is something that's definitely pricey it's definitely not something i necessarily need but it's definitely something i really 
want. So I definitely, like, my jackets aren't this color. They're black. Um, they all definitely have hoods. This one doesn't have a hood. This one could be cute to wear with, like, a sweatshirt underneath. There's plenty of room to put your sweatshirt. And actually, I'm glad there are pockets in here. So there's, like, this mesh pocket right here and right here as well. So very functional jacket as well. And yeah, really nice quality. And before I move on, I actually wanted to show you, I figured I might as well just get, stop being lazy and get the high hoodie in size small that I have just to show you the difference here. Like you can see just here, like the sleeves are just shorter. And if I try to like this, it's just like, you know, a lot more stretched out here. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like it's still a really cute hoodie, but I definitely, if you're wanting it to be more oversized, um, then I would think I would, you know, just size one up. And yeah. Okay, so we have three more items. There's a pair of leggings, track pants, and then another top. So I put on the top first since we're here, and actually I think it's kind of supposed to go with these ribbed leggings. Okay, so this was actually my least favorite item of the whole haul, and I'll definitely be returning it. So I got this one because it's ribbed like the leggings, and this one actually has a shelf bra in it, unlike the last top I was wearing. But it is so tight on me. I'm usually a small and yeah, I don't know, the bra right here is just like so tight and I feel like it just like cuts me off a lot right here. So it's just like not something comfortable to put on and then the straps kind of dig in since it's pretty tight here. And then, I mean, the back's really cute since it's nice and open, but yeah, I mean, usually I'm a small and alley uh, tops and everything and they never dig into me. So I don't know why this one's just like randomly so tight, especially when like it looked like something that would have been like very loose and not supportive. Um, so if you are getting this top, I think I would size up, honestly, but, or I would just skip it altogether. I don't think this top is worth it. Okay, so now we have these track pants, which I think are super cute, and they have these snaps at the bottom of them. And again, I think these are like perfect length on me. They come just to the bottom of my legs here. And these are a nice high waisted here. They come right to my belly button. And this is like not too tight at all. It's super stretchy at the waistband, which I love. Um, the front seam is a little tight when I bring it up this high, but like nothing bad where it's uncomfortable or anything. And there are pockets right here. And yeah, I don't know. I really like this as a set. I think this is really cute. I think these pants are super flattering. Um, I mean, I don't know how much I would actually use the function of the snaps. Uh, I think I would just leave it like one snap open, but see what it looks like here with all the snaps here. So yeah, this last one doesn't unsnap, so it just comes to like that length right there. But yeah, I mean, I don't really think I would wear it like that. I don't know. But I think it's just supposed to be the look. Unless you're going to play basketball or something, which I still don't know why you would unsnap it. Okay, so again, these ones size small, and I would definitely say true to size. Okay, so last but not least, we have the airlift leggings. And again, if you watch me, you know that I don't like the front seam, especially in LA yoga. I feel like a lot of times they give me camel toe. I've tried these leggings before, and they do. Um, however, I think in this color, it's not as bad, just because, like, it's a darker color. And yeah, I don't know, I'm really liking them. It makes me want to keep these leggings for once. However, I think I want to get the full length version instead. This is a 7th, 8th length version on me, and I just think it would look better on me in a longer length. Um, so it is kind of short on me, and it is pretty tight around here. So, yeah, and I think just because it's like a dark color, it's more like for the colder months, I would say. I would want it longer anyways. And, yeah, so I think I'm going to return them and get the full length version. But, yeah, I think because they're... And last time I tried them, I was thinking, you know, that they would slide down and try them in the gravel color but someone commented saying that they don't slide down and I definitely feel like they're pretty tight around your legs and then they do kind of cinch in a little bit at the waist so I do feel like I would be secure in them and that they wouldn't really slip down even though they are like a slippery material here. Um, let's do a quick squat test here. Yeah and I would say true to size for these, at least for me, size small. I would not size down or also definitely be too tight around the front seam and I would not size up because I don't think I need to. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And now let's do a quick color comparison. I have a ton of colors to show you guys. All right, so here we are. Here is Lululemon French Press. 
That is Lululemon Brown Earth. That is Aloe Yoga Cherry Cola from last year. This is the Gymshark Vital Seamless Brown Color. There's also French Press from Lulu. I just wanted to show you next, and then these are both um, Espresso Aloe Yoga that I just showed you. So yeah, I wanted to show you the Up to Street Tank from Lulu and French Press versus the Aloe Yoga one. And I actually think I'm liking the Espresso Color better between the two. The French Press is almost looking like a little bit more purpley to me and just like way, way darker. And yeah, I just like this color. Um, and then comparing it to last year's Cherry Cola that I was obsessed with, you could see it's way different. The Cherry Cola is way more red. So again, I definitely like the brown better. It is very different from the Lemon Brown Earth. Sorry, I'm like pointing with my toe. But, um, and I am obsessed with the Lemon Brown Earth. The Aloe Yoga Espresso is definitely in the running. So there's that. And yeah, that's French Press again. And I actually really do like this Gymshark Vital Seamless Brown too. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick color comparison. All right, it's a few days later and I got the full length leggings now. And it, I think that that's the mistake I've been making with the Aloe Yoga leggings is I need to do full length when usually I go for seven eighths. But for these ones, the full length I think just looks a lot better on my body type and just like for how long my legs are. So super, super cute. And I definitely think these would stay in place and yeah, I'm excited to wear them. All right, and that is it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if I was like out of breath. I went out late last night, so definitely feeling that, but I really wanted to get this haul up for you guys. I'm really excited about the pieces. I feel like I'll be keeping a lot of it. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.